Please welcome to the stage, the Thunder from Down Under, the star of Yellow Jackets, Liv Hewson. Hi, thanks for being here. Hello. Welcome. Thanks. What is the most annoying Australian stereotype Americans have? Um, that we're laid back. Um, <laughs> Because that's not true. It's not true? <laughs> I know. You're riven by anxiety like us? No, yeah, it's a well-kept secret, but I, I actually think Australians have a real uptight streak. That, really? Yeah, that we try to keep buried from international parties. <laughs> so it's just, that's something that you only talk about with each other? Yes, yeah, so, and I'm actually going to get into a lot of trouble for saying that, I think. But whatever, I tell it like it is. What happens if you get in trouble with Australians? Yeah, what else could they do? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to send you to a colony somewhere. Oh, wait. <laughs> We're sending you to a prison island. Oh. Oh, hang on. As a star of Showtime's Yellow Jackets, do you at least admit that America has better cults than Australia? Oh, yeah, no, you guys have that covered pretty much, I would say. Great job on the cults. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, do you think that... When you see an American being afraid of an American spider, uh -huh. do you find that pathetic, <laughs> given the fact that oh, what we're no. dealing with is uh, nothing compared to the monsters that roam no, the Australian I, I countryside? I think it's very sweet. <laughs> you know, I think it's darling. It's like, it's like watching a kid be scared of like a moth. It's like, oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll tell you something. The, there'll, there'll be a TikTok of just a family in Australia being like, oh, we got a spider again, and that's a crab on the wall. I was, um, I was just visiting home last month, and I was in Brisbane seeing some friends, and there were fully spiders hanging in between the power lines, um, and I had sort of forgotten about that because I had been spending so much time in North America. I was like, right, 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 right. We're not kidding about any of that. That's right. I forgot. Hi, guys. Those are my friends. And the snakes are pretty bad. Where's he going? Oh no, I'm being handed a card. Do you want to know what the card said? I really do. Can you tell me? It says, gotta ask some stuff about Yellow Jacket season two. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, speaking of spiders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? Um, what, John? So, you know, they're famous for surviving. Okay, you know? great. And Yellow Jackets, yes. your show, yes. is a show about surviving. Can you, you know, I, you know, can I tell you what I would have done? Yeah, sure. I would have said that a Yellow Jacket is also a type of bug. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting right there. I know, I'm so sorry. Hey, speaking of bugs, <laughs> <laughs> Yellow Jacket season two, mm -hmm. uh, is it going to be good? <laughs> What? This is what you told me to do. <laughs> is it gonna, what's wrong with that? Okay, imagine, imagine if I said no. <laughs> well, no, like, yeah, it, yes, yes, it's gonna be great. Oh, phew. Yeah, it's gonna God, be great. God, how hard to do a whole promotional tour if it sucked. I could have tanked this whole thing right here. When I was a kid. Mm hmm <laughs> What? I, here's when I learned that Hollywood didn't always tell the truth. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I loved the movie City Slickers as a kid. Mm -hmm. And then I saw an interview with Billy Crystal, and he said that City Slickers 2 was even better than the original. <gasps> and I ran screaming up the stairs to my parents and said, we must go see City Slickers 2 on opening night. Why? It's even better than the original. <laughs> and that was a fucking lie. <laughs> City Slickers 2, The Legend oh, of Curly's no. Gold, sucks ass. Do you, um, it's, it's like that scene in Elf where he runs into the coffee shop and he's like, wow, world's best cup of coffee. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah. That's, a little smaller. Yeah, a little smaller. Um, but that's not, you're not doing that. I would never do that. Yellow Jackets season two I is great. It, it, is, it really is. It genuinely is. Cool. Yeah. And all of our favorite characters return. Yes. The but any. <laughs> You told me to ask about Yellow Jacket season two and I'm doing it, Malcolm. You write it on a card, I do what you say every goddamn time. You're doing great. Can you rate my Australian accent? Okay. <laughs> yes, I can. No. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Out of six. <laughs> What 
What channel is Yellow Jackets on? <laughs> so people can watch it. Why, it's on Showtime, it's of course. It's on Showtime. <laughs> um, I once sold a pilot to Showtime, they didn't make it. Oh my God, what was it about? It was about a presidential election that falls into chaos because the Republican declares victory even though he lost. Swear to God. Are you serious? Yeah. You should call them again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can still do it. I know, it was like a cool idea. <laughs> but the idea was good. I didn't really crack it, you know? It's hard writing a script. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how the, the writers of Yellow Jackets do it? Um, with computers, I imagine. Because they do a really good job and they finish them. They, they finish do. the episodes. They that do. was the problem for me. I could start writing an okay. episode. I never finished well, it. Well, that, that, is, that is, unfortunately, the secret is that it's very easy to start something. And, and then the rest of it is difficult. <laughs> I can't help but notice through my... <laughs> um, oh, wait, I want to ask one more question to, to segue into the game. Yes. What country do you think has dumber people, America or Australia? Well, America has about, like, almost 300 million more people. So, so probably here statistically. <laughs> There's just more of us. Yeah, and that's not personal. It's, it's just mathematical. Yeah. Not percentage, just by volume. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't know what numbers are. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time for a game. Because what we realized is uh, if, you look at the, if you look at stupid, headline, stupid news headlines, yes. you know, mm -hmm. uh, there is a bit of a competition between Australians and Americans. Okay, let's do it. So it's time for a game we're calling... Is this dumbass an American or an Australian? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. All right. A man was arrested for calling the police after a strip club denied entry to him and a kitten. Was this man American or Australian? To him and a kitten? A man was arrested for calling the police after a strip club denied entry to him and a kitten. <laughs> okay. Was this man American or Australian? Um, I want to say that he was American. That is correct. It was a Florida man in 2012. Mm -hmm. Is there a part of Australia that has Florida vibes? Yes. Yes, there is. I think, I think probably the Gold Coast has the most the Gold Florida Coast? vibes, I would say. Mm -hmm. cool. A passerby called the police after walking by a house where they heard a toddler crying and a man repeatedly screaming, Why don't you die? When police arrived, they found a man trying to kill a spider. <laughs> was this person... American or Australian? Now, I feel like you put the spider in there to throw me off. Hmm. And, and I feel like I'm about to make a mistake. But then now I'm second guessing myself because maybe it's not that complicated. We're it's not, I don't think we're, yep. Okay. You, really? <laughs> okay. Not, I think that person was Australian. You got it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're not trying to double cross you. That's what my interview part is okay, about. I got scared. A man robbed a church while wearing a Batman costume he found in the building, but not until after wandering past security cameras with his face unmasked. Oh, noticing a pattern here. American or Australian. So he wandered into a building, yes. then found a costume. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Then put it on yeah. to hide his face. Yes. But it was too late because uh -huh. he entered the building without the costume. Yes. American or Australian? That person was American. Correct. Yeah. South Carolina man. <laughs> A couple thought they were trapped in a closet for two days, not realizing that the closet was unlocked until police, whom they waited two days to call, arrived to rescue them. American or Australian? Australian. Ah, that was an American Florida, Florida couple. Damn. All right. Well, they can't, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. You can't, and you can't win them all. You can't. It's famously true. A man was charged thousands of dollars for recording videos of himself illegally catching crocodiles and posting on TikTok. Crocodiles, you say? Crocodiles. Okay. This one might be a little easier than the other ones, American <laughs> or Australian. Australian. Yeah, because I guess we don't have crocodiles. No, we do have not. alligators. Yes. And we all know the difference. Which is? Oh, man. The crocodiles have a round and are bigger and are in salt water yeah. and are in Australia. Yes. Great. Well done. Thank you. What, what is the trick to doing an American accent? 
Uh, watching The Simpsons as a child. Really? Yeah. I mean, for me, at least. Yeah. Which one? Who? Who's the person you emulate on The Simpsons? I I don't know that I emulated anybody, but it was just I just learned how to do an American accent quoting stuff, and I quoted The Simpsons the most often. Really? Yes. Do you remember the monorail episode? That's one of the best episodes mm. that exist. That's cool. Conan O'Brien wrote that. I know. What a talented guy. Oh yeah. What's he up to? I think he does a fucking podcast like every other person. <laughs> Oh, Conan's got a podcast. Leave something for the rest of us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyone who's had a late, anyone who's hosted Tonight Show doesn't get to do a podcast. You don't get to do one. You did the Tonight Show. Pick up painting. We're going to trim all this out. No, please don't. <laughs> uh, you know, speak truth to power. A man. <laughs> but I kind of want to get invited on that show. <laughs> A man was charged thousands of dollars for recording videos of himself illegally catching crocodiles. And po- oh, I did that one yes. already. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Three. Two-, <laughs> <laughs> Two burglars were caught after one of them butt-dialed the police while trying to break into a car. American or Australian? American? Yeah, Californian. <laughs> yeah. This is a hard one. Okay. An amateur model threw a wet tampon at a McDonald's drive thru employee, then complained on Facebook that the media have blown the whole tampon incident way out of proportion. Keep in mind, this person was an amateur model, and the tampon was wet. Yeah, the tampon thing makes me think Australian for some reason, but the complaining on Facebook makes me think American. <laughs> right, that's what's a tough question. Yeah, but I, I think I want to go with my initial instinct. I want to say Australian. You got it. Let's go. Wow. What a move. Thank you. What a move. How bad, what could happen between one window and the other window that was so terrible? (laughs) You're throwing, hurling a tampon into a McDonald's, a wonderful place that that just is there all the time and is so reliable, something stable you can count on. You can always know what you're going to get at McDonald's, no matter what's happening in your life, no matter how sad you are. Yeah, you'll get a tampon thrown at you. A great Diet Coke. A drunk driver was arrested behind the wheel of a motorized beer cooler. Yep. Australian. You got it. Yeah. A man was arrested and charged with assault with deadly weapon after throwing a live alligator through a Wendy's drive thru Alligator, you say. Yeah, that, that gives it away. American. Yeah, it was an American. And finally, mm-hmm. <laughs> again... What could have gone on between the two windows? <laughs> it's such a recurring theme. People get so upset between the two windows. Something happens in that space. Something, it's a liminal space. Something happens It's like to the you. airport. It is like the airport. You know, anything goes between the yeah. ordering and the window. Airport, People hotel. People get angry. Something happens to your brain. And it's all, and yep. And finally... <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say about Yellow Jackets? I don't want to get in trouble after. Oh, watch it. You yeah, know. everybody watch Yellow yeah. Jackets. It's awesome. Cool. It's on Showtime. And don't begrudge them for not picking up my pilot. I never cracked it. I'll talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, 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 the star of Yellow Jackets is fucking blowing up my phone about some pilot <laughs> we turned down. Do I have to deal with this? Uh, and finally... <laughs> And finally, mm-hmm. oh, come on. It says in full Australian accent. I can't. Well? How do, what's the, tra- uh, a dr- I can't do it. A well, drug go runner. on. <laughs> no, a drug runner. I can't do it. <laughs> Dr- Dr- I know the vowels shift, but I don't know which direction. Two. A drug, dr- <laughs> <laughs> a drug runner with $200 million of meth in his van accidentally crashed into two parked cop cars. $200 million. Was he American? Or Australian, Liv. American. He was Australian. God damn it. Austra- Maybe they were Australian dollars, though, so it might have been a little bit less Well, that's math. what the, the dollar amount threw me off. That was the problem. Yeah. Thank you so much, Liv. Thank you. This is so much fun. The Thank second you. season of Yellow Jackets premieres on Showtime March 26th. When we come back, it's the return of Brad Turbo. Liv, thank you so much. Thank that you. That was so great. That was so great. 